I'm going to show you how to do a, a really fast walk away split. There's plenty of bees in this box. I know that there's eggs. I know that there's larva, um, hatching brood, plenty of resources in that bottom box. There's also plenty of bees, eggs, hatching brood, resources in this top box. Now, I don't know where the queen is, but I don't have to know where she is because we're just doing a walk-away split. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to take this right here, a double screen board. We're going to lay it right on top, just like this. I'm going to have my entrance facing the opposite of the front entrance I'm hoping I can pick this deep box up with one hand I doubt I can let me just set my phone down a second and there you go we just made a walk away split right there They've got the resources in the bottom to make a queen. They have the resources in the top to make a queen. There's about the same amount, three or four frames of brood in each box, all stages. So what we'll do is, since we don't have a cell or a mated queen to put in this top box, we're just going to let whichever half doesn't have the queen attempt to make a queen we'll come back in three or four weeks we'll check if that queen has came back in either of those boxes we've got a successful split we'll move that box somewhere else and if they haven't we'll simply take that double screen board out combine those two colonies back together and let them go about their business that's going to help cut down on their swarming tendency from getting too full also but that's about as quick of a walk away split as you can do. And I just wanted y'all to see me do one of those real fast. Like I say, I like to leave the original entrance this way. The old bees will go into the bottom, out of the top, or, you know, they kind of mix around. But the other entrance is on this side. And the new bees that don't go back to the bottom box, they'll just assume that that's their new home. But as soon as that screen board went in, Whichever section doesn't have the queen just became queenless and they'll start working on a new queen. Now, if you had a cell, you could put a cell in or, of course, a mated queen. But we're going to see how that works out. And like I say, if they, the other half doesn't make a queen, we still cut them down on wanting to swarm. And we'll just pull that double screen board out when the honey flow gets in full kick. And we'll have a big hive for honey production. But I just wanted to share that with you guys.